This week we had a train wreck in Washington as an Amtrak train flew off the tracks near Tacoma. People have been injured and some have died. Perhaps yet more will die. We've had another train wreck in Washington as our Republican majority Congress, that means you Republican senators and Congress people, has managed to pass tax legislation that will further injure an enormous number of Americans and will allow many of us to die prematurely. In both cases, you who are in charge seem to have forgotten that your job is to protect and serve the people and to do it with care. With the passage of the Republican-only so-called Tax Reform Act, once again you have managed to do exactly the opposite of what the American people want you to do. By an overwhelming majority, we Americans disapprove of your hateful bill and wanted you to stomp it to death. You didn't do that. Study after study have shown that we want sensible gun safety laws, universal health care, protection of our national parks and wilderness areas, clean air and water, excellent public education, an end to our endless wars, a solid battle against global warming and more. But you consistently deliver the opposite. This time you managed to put yet more billions of dollars into the pockets of already rich people, create an additional $5,000 of debt for every one of we 320 million Americans, and you dumped the burden primarily on the backs of our poor and middle class children. Congratulations on successfully sucking up to your rich donors, padding your own pockets and the pockets of the president, and blowing off the rest of us. You Republicans passed this junk legislation without any input from Democrats, with no input from tax experts, and with no hearings in Congress, listening only to yourselves and those rich interests that have their hands up your back. This is exactly why we don't trust you. See if you can answer these three simple questions. One, we want you to do things cooperatively and help to end our culture wars, not to make them worse. Exactly what is your problem with that? Two, how can you be so dumbfoundingly deaf to the voices of the people? And three, 81% of Americans disapprove of you, that's you personally, and the job you're doing. Can you figure out why? Come on now, Republican Congress people. You've been in charge for seven years and ought to know by now what we the people want. Yet we've known for a long time that you don't want to hear from us, but we want to hear from you. Answer my questions. I'm Jack Alshuler.